What's going on guys, it's Mad Knife for here. Um, it's kind of been a while since I've done commentary or even put a video up, I guess. Um, there's a few reasons for that and I'll kind of explain to you why. But basically, like, the main reason is, like, I don't know, I, I, uh, I put up a, a Black Ops 2 video because or since it, when it first came out, or when Black Ops 2 first came out, I put a video up, and I figured it'd get quite a quite a bit of views since it's new, and everybody was looking for Black Ops 2 content and stuff like that. But um, it only got like 28 views or 30 views or something. It's been up for like almost a month, I think. So that kind of just I don't know, it just made me unmotivated to uh, put any more videos out because I knew some I knew my videos weren't going to get noticed and stuff. And that to me, it just kind of sucks. I mean, I know you're not never give up on it or anything like that but it's just I don't know it's just to me it just made me unmotivated to put out any videos or anything like that but I've uh um um shoot I forgot what I was gonna say but basically I was gonna I've had this video recorded for quite a while I actually ever since I put out my um my last MX simulator commentary or no it was actually an MX vs ATV live commentary I put up um I said I was gonna do a reflex one because you guys I ask you to put in the comments and stuff what you wanted to see and most of you guys wanted to see reflex so I made a reflex one and this is um, actually like one of my f I, I hadn't played reflex in forever and this is actually one of the uh, first first couple games that I um, um, right after I started playing again so after after I stopped for a couple months or something like that so it, the gameplay is a little rusty it's not the best but I've actually been playing it quite a bit and I've got back to where I was my like my skill level and stuff I got it back to I remember actually had a ride on here um, this track's the uh, Fort Dodge Round 2 is always like my all-time favorite track when I uh, when the game first came out or when I played it a bunch. This is always the track that I'd go to and just put in lap after lap because I don't know what it is about it, but I enjoyed it and stuff like that. But I'll, I'll probably start putting out more videos for you guys. If you guys want to see more Reflex um, gameplays or, or MX Simulator, whatever you guys want to see, just let me know what, what's, what do you guys want to see and stuff like that. Um, this will probably go up on Verb Metal Gamers as well, because that, like I said, that that that's always helped my channel out a bunch. Just putting it on the community channel, so like I said, that'll probably it'll go up on my channel, and then it'll probably end up going on up there too. Um, but that's enough about like the gameplay and stuff like that, and why I haven't why I haven't been posting videos or anything. Like I said, it just kind of got me unmotivated to do stuff when your videos don't get hardly any views, but. Oh well, you know, it's part of YouTube right now. Everybody's doing the same thing and you have to find something to do differently to stand out from everybody so you can get noticed. But anyway, I just got a kind of a quick little story for you guys and why I haven't been able to ride in real life and and uh um and that's just because I uh, both of my bikes are blown up or I locked I locked them up. Um, I'm not sure why I've never ever locked up a motor in my entire riding career and I've been riding for 8 years. Um, I rode, I we went to ride one day and I rode my, my 2011, my race bike and I was riding it at my house and I had rode it all day and was going to go out for one last time and before I was done for the day and went out, was riding just fine and then all of a sudden I started noticing I, I was losing power and I could feel it, something just wasn't right and, um, I came around the corner and, and stopped and pulled off and it just died right there. Like, I didn't even have to do anything. It just died. And it's like, okay, well, something's messed up, you know. So I got my dad, and um, he was out riding, and I put, went back, put it on the stand, tried to start it. wouldn't start. Hardly anything. Nothing. It seemed kind of stiff when I'd kick it over. And um, then my dad went and hopped on, or actually before that, I, I let it sit for a little bit, and then um, went back and uh, started first kick on me. So I was like, okay, well, maybe something's wrong. So my dad went and rode it. He went around, not even not even a lap, and um, it died on him in a corner, and then it was locked up from there. And then I got on my other bike because I, ha I have a spare bike because I ride so much. And I came, or I went to me and a buddy went to ride it, or we were actually having a big ride weekend again one weekend, and um, went to get on it. Didn't even didn't even get to ride it at all. I went to start it. I started it for a little bit and then it just died again and I was like you've got to be kidding me this can't happen to me twice in a matter of two weeks and um, it was locked up too so I really have no idea what the deal is I haven't torn into him yet but I will let you guys know in another commentary because this gameplay is over I'm um, just um, sorry for the not any uploads guys but this is kind of a short little gameplay to let you know why why I haven't been but anyway if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and favorite and please subscribe for more alright guys see ya
daily motocross pro and am coverage, be sure to log on to verbmoto.com. And if you like us, prove it.